Okay, here it is. It's what we've been waiting for for a long time. So, the unboxing of the Commodore 64 Mini. Let's take a look inside the box. I think all I have to do is pull this little lever here. And we shall see. There it is. Delivery note, we don't need that. Let's scoop that down here. Comes in a nice little box. Cellophane. Fantastic. Let's open it up. Sounds good. Look. Nice. Well, this is the box it comes in. Can you see that? In the end there. Quite glossy where the, uh, where the picture is. Very glossy. Games on the back. Can you see that? Okay, let's have a look inside. See what we've got here. There we go. So this is just a sleeve basically. Inside the sleeve there's another box, plain one. Oh, it's got Commodore 64 Mini logo on the front. Okay, so let's open this. <laughs> well, you can see inside, very well packaged, really nicely done. That is tiny. Here's the actual device. Wow. That is tiny. There's my hand. It's practically the same size as my hand. Let's get some objects here so you can compare the size. A standard pen. There you go. So this is just one plastic mode that you couldn't push them even if you wanted to they're just way too small but it does look cool though power light there I'm guessing that works Commodore 64 mini on the side we've got two USB ports and I'm guessing that's the power switch right there Nothing on the other side, on the back, one HDMI and one power in, which is a, looks like a USB there, so uh, USB mini. So, that's the actual device. Joystick. No, it's not micro switch. Lots of buttons. I think these are configurable to be depending on what game you're using. And obviously USB end. So what else you get? USB cable for your power. Quite long. That is quite a long cable there. Which is always good because usually these things are really short. I'm hoping the TV I'm trying it in has a USB port on the back, so I'm hoping I can power it just by plugging it into the TV. Um, there we go, yeah, that goes in the back. And obviously, that goes into your TV. I don't like that. Well, so we've got HDMI cable. Go. Again, quite long, which is always good because usually with these things you get a tiny one and it's just completely useless. But that is very long, so that's going to be fine. So that's it. What else have we got in here? We've got Commodore 64 Quick Guide, 
This is in the style of the original manual, which is quite nice, although the original manual is a lot, a lot thicker than that. Lots of info. Yeah, so there you go, that's it. Nothing else in the box. Okay, so before we go on and try out the games, let's compare it to the old version. It'd be interesting to do a size comparison. And you can see a huge difference in size and colour. So I, I think this is probably a quarter of the size. Other differences include colour, obviously, but I think this is quite old and um, stained over the years. Um, the function keys are different colour. Obviously the logo is slightly different because it says Commodore 64, although they have kept the colours. If I hold them like this, they're the same size. Other differences include there's no symbols on the I mean, obviously the keys don't work, like I've said, this is just a, a moulded piece of plastic. But you see the symbols on the front of the keys, they don't exist on there either, but you know. They're so tiny, you couldn't use them in, in for real. And I think putting the symbols on the front could be quite difficult, to be honest. Um, but apart from that, apart from the obvious, you know, the back, you haven't got all the slots um, that go with it because you don't, you don't need them. So, there they are. old new let's plug it in to it. this is just a standard sony tv it's probably about five or six years old it's got a usb port in the side here so i'm going to put the power into it and it's got uh, obviously got hdmi so it needs a clean but <laughs> this should be perfect so let's plug it in first up usb In the back, in the side of the TV. Next up, HDMI. USB joystick. Let's power up, see if she works. TV HDMI 2 Power's on And there it is Perfect Let's try out the games Okay, I've got this running through a video capture card now, uh, linked to my PC. So you should be seeing the footage completely raw. English, German, Spanish, French and Italian options. So let's choose English. And you've got straight into the game, into the screen with all the games. You've got three icons down here. Let's have a look what they are. There's the spanner. So you can obviously plug a USB keyboard into it. Got some legal notices. That's just showing you all the IP notices or all the licenses. Let's go back. System information. There's the build and the build date, which is really handy because that means you can update the firmware, which will be really cool. Close that. And obviously it's got a factory reset if you screw things up. And yeah, all, all good stuff. All right, so this here is your language settings, I believe, where we just came from. Yeah. And this one here. Okay, let's you manipulate the display, which is pretty cool. All the different variations. 
Pixel Perfect CRT, so you get the scan lines, horizontal scan lines. Let's try that, because that would be cool. Okay, so, and here's all the games. So you start with basic. Let's just go into that and see how that actually works. Oh, it's gone quiet. Oh, wow. Okay. Virtual keyboard. Where is it? Ah, oh, there you go. So you can type stuff in. Oh, that's really cool. That's a bit laborious. I guess if you had a USB keyboard, it would work quite well, but let's go back. We don't want to do that, but that's really cool that that's there. Exit, right, okay. So then we got, let's just quickly go through these games and then we'll try some out. Battle Valley, Boulder Dash. I'm going to try it. That's one we're going to look at. Bounder, California Games, Chips Challenge, Confusion, Cosmic Causeway. In fact, I'm not going to speak too much. I'm just going to flick through them like this. And pick on one now and again. When we see an interest, everyone's a Wally. That's quite fun. I recognise. Yeah, you saw me play Gribbles there when I plugged into my when I plugged in my original uh, Commodore 64. Hawkeye. We tried that too, which is quite cool. Hunter's Moon. Yep. Yeah. Looking forward to playing some of these. Impossible Mission. One of my most favourite games on the Commodore 64. Fantastic. And Impossible Mission 2 as well. IL, fantastic. Monty Mole and Monty on the Run. <laughs> Brilliant games. Nebulous. Oh, that's the uh, rotating tower game. I remember that. Netherworld. Nodes of Yezod, and I do believe we have a oh, speedball. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, Ark of Yezod. Yeah, my uh, one of my business partners uh, worked on that game. It's a very cool programmer. And back to oh, the Hall of Fame. Now this is, I think, much thanks to all those who influenced them back to the Commodore 64. Yeah, so this is the, I think it was on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. I can't remember which one it was. Let's have a look at that. Get some names scrolling here. Yeah, there you go. That's all the people that helped bring this i just turn that down because that's quite loud actually. Now we won't uh, look at all of them, but thank you very much all you people. But I have paid for this as well also, just hasten to add. Right, what else have we got here? Thing bounces back. Thing on a swing. Yeah, I remember that was brilliant. Iridium, another Andrew Braybrook game. Fantastic. Alley Cat, Anarchy. And we're back here. Okay, let's jump in and let's try Boulder Dash. Here we go. Our first game. Fantastic. This is what you've all been waiting for. Wow. You know, seeing it on a big screen, it's crispy clear like that. It's um, it's really retro. It's really chunky. That's um, an interesting technique, that scrolling there. It's just scrolling one of the character sets or a few of the character sets. And you, it, gives it gives it that sort of scrolly effect. Press button to play. Wow. Yes, I do remember this. A 
it's time based. See the timer up in the top, you had to finish the level before the time. If you ran underneath one of these, it fell down and you can kill baddies with it. And you had to do that because the ones like these two to my right stacked on top, the top one should fall. Yeah, to let me pass. There seems to be just a little delay when you're pressing the joystick. Just, just a little delay. I think I don't know if that's down to the emulator or what. I don't know if it's my capture card, but I'll double check. <gasps> I died. Just before I finish, I'll just check that it's not my capture card. Delaying. I don't think it is. It's, I've never noticed it before. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit distracting actually. I can imagine for Twitch games it's not going to be great. That. This game for hours. Ooh. Don't know what that flash was, I can't remember. It meant something. Okay, two levels down. Let's move on to some different games. Save. Save games. See the, uh, down in the bottom left of the screen, you see those four red dots with a symbol after it. Well, on the joystick, there's four buttons exactly the same. And the field one, represents the button that you have to press for that particular icon, which is quite interesting. I like it. So to save, which is the middle one, middle uh, icon, I used to, I press the left hand button like so. So that's saved now. How do I quit? I think exit game. And that's so simple, but Perfectly formed. I'm going to come back. I'm going to play this uh, these in great detail. But I just want to have a quick go on some of these. I'm not disappointed so far, I have to say. It's really cool. Yeah, we've seen Gribblies. We've seen Hawkeye. Let's have a go on this. This one talks, if I remember rightly. It's got speech in it. Stay forever. <laughs> Brilliant. Damn. Animation was superb. We, you know, back in the day when we saw this, we went, oh my God, that's fantastic. We were like blown away by it. Whoa, I died. Yes, I remember that. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Harsh. Oh, you can't get me. I, think I can push it out. Yay. Oh, it comes at the top. I think I have to search these terminals. Is that going to get me? Yes. Oh, he zapped me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's go to the next. Let's have a look at IO.
Oh. I think you're not allowed to touch the environment. Oh, that's harsh. That's really harsh. Okay, that was rubbish. Here we go again. Let's try. Oh, okay. Obviously, not good at that. Let's have a go at Power Droid. I, mean, I loved Power Droid, it was fantastic. By Andrew Braybrook. Sound is fantastic. Oh, I can't remember what you're supposed to do with this. I really couldn't remember that. I really couldn't remember what you're supposed to do there. I died. Okay. So... I think you're getting the idea here. Fantastic. Oh, look at the thing on a spring. I remember this from being quite fun. <clears throat> yeah, and the music. Fantastic. Cool. Games are a lot harder back then. Let's try Iridium. I love Iridium. Game on. It just looked good, this game. It looked really good. Playing this for hours, I mean, the graphics here. Oh, that's really harsh. sections oh like that wow yep brutal
how do I avoid that? me clicking the button like crazy it's actually making my thumb ache like mad here Let's swap hands not a good idea no Whew. back around again so there we go that's the cheap that's the games pretty good fun looking forward to playing some of these in a lot more detail let's have a look at this again see if it's the same it really is just the same it looks interesting on this big screen my big sony screen One. There's definitely a delay on the pressing up button and the controls. Yes, so slight delay. It's not quite reacting. Oh. No, something doesn't feel quite right there. It's it's, uh, it's a slight delay, I think. Some of these games. See, I'm not turning as quick as I should. I know there is a sort of inertia when you turn, but there's an extra bit of time there. So I'm not picking up the griblets when I press the actual button. I have to sort of press and hold it. So I'm not... And the sound. There's a bit of a delay with the sound there. Okay, so that's it for now. I think we've seen enough here. Pretty cool. Looking forward to playing it. Um, lots of games here. Hours of fun. I think it's definitely worth uh, you know the money that I paid for it. It's basically a pound a game, so you know. That's got to be worth it, right? So, that's it for now. I'll I'll probably do some more of these videos, but I'll do them in a bit more detail on, on specific games in the future. But in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.